Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Shoreline Film Review with Peter Edwards, or is it George Michael? Well, it's, it's difficult to tell this or morning. His songs feature in this <laughs> particular film. The film is called Last Christmas, which, of course, is the name of one of Wham's George Michael's um, songs from way, way back. It's um, set in London, this film. It's billed as a, a rom com, and it's got everything that lovers of this type of film would ever want. But it's got some pretty unusual twists, turns, and a totally unexpected last 15 minutes or so. Cool. And, uh, you're, and you're not going to tell us what it is, are you? Oh, of course not. Of you course. know, that would, that would spoil it for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, the film is directed by a guy called Paul Fagg. I've never heard of him. But the screenplay is by Dame Emma Thompson and Bryony Kimmings. Goodness. Yeah. And its two principal stars are the lovely Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones. Yes. And Henry Golding, who starred in the film Crazy Rich Asians. Remember really? That one? Mm. This is oh, getting yeah. interesting. So, yeah, they're two, two quite up-and-coming up stars. Let me, because uh, people are screaming out for me to ask you, does Emma appear in the movie as well? Emma? Ooh, I'll come to that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> right, here we go, the storyline. Um, e- Amelia Clark. Now, she plays Kate, whose life, frankly, is something of a mess. She's between flats effectively homeless and her sheer selfishness means she's fast running out of friends who are prepared to put up with her couch surfing at the same same time she's attending auditions for singing roles although it's pretty clear that her talents are a bit limited she she can sing okay but no great shakes and she works all year round in a christmas store all year round. All year round. Goodness. And okay. it's run by a lady known only as Santa, <laughs> and, and she's played by Michelle Yeoh, the Chinese American yes. actress. And she's forced, as part of the um, Santa's helper role, to wear a green elf costume all year round. <laughs> <laughs> Quite funny to start with. Uh, anyway, um, Kate, she's pretty much exhausted all her accommodation options. And she's forced to return to her family home where we meet her overly protective mother. And it's a wonderful cameo from Emma Thompson. Oh, lovely. And we learn that the family was forced to flee in the late 90s war in Yugoslavia. Ah. And they had to settle in England. So there's, there's, uh, there's a racial element attached to this as well. But not, not too deep. Now... One day at work, Kate sees a young man standing outside the shop and he's looking upwards. She's puzzled and she goes outside and she meets the young man. He's Tom, played by Henry Golding, and he's observing a pigeon on one of the overhead rafters and he says, look up. So Kate looks up and promptly gets bird dew in the eye. (laughs) And Tom tells her that uh, being anointed by a bird is supposed to be lucky, and he asks her to go for a walk with him. Well, Kate tells him that she's busy and that he's weird. (laughs) But she keeps bumping into him, and it's almost as if uh, he's stalking her. But she eventually agrees to go for a walk with him, and uh, Tom, he becomes increasingly mysterious He tells her to keep looking up at odd pieces of architecture and art, takes her down narrow alleyways, and he tells her off for continuing to eat junk food. And he tries to tell her to dump her phone because, you know, (laughs) he's left his own in the cupboard. (laughs) And it's never bothered him not having a phone because she can never get in touch with him. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now, he says that he volunteers at a homeless shelter but Kate can, she visits the shelter, but she can never find him when she wants to. But Tom, somehow or other, seems to be able to turn up when least expected. Now, all along, it's clear that Kate is a bit of a mess. And in an admission to Tom, she di- discloses that things really went downhill when she had to go through a heart transplant. Gosh. Yeah, yeah she has the scars to prove oh it. Oh, my gosh. 
when she feels that she's lost her heart and implies that someone else's heart is the cause of all her misfortunes. Tom's pretty supportive and it's clear that Kate is falling for him, um, but Tom, for his part, isn't, seems fairly content to let the romance proceed at a slow, slow pace. Now, this puzzles Kate, who's quite keen on him, but eventually she gives up and the, the couple drift apart. Now, although he's not present in her life, it's clear that his calmness has a marked influence on Kate and she begins to turn her life around. She reconciles with former friends, starts volunteering at Tom's mm. homeless shelter. She even starts busking outside the shelter in her elf costume to raise money for the Christmas pageant at the shelter. And in a final flurry, Kate decides to touch base with Tom once again and she goes to his flat and finds an estate agent present. The flat is for sale. The agent thinks she's a potential buyer. And as I said at the start, there's an unexpected uh, and, dare I say, a, we... a weepy finale. Oh. Now, I'll say no more because that would just give the game away. Okay. So we're into the final 15 minutes then. You are indeed. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed this film and it, I think lovers of rom-coms chick flicks, if you want to call them that, and George Michael certainly will also enjoy it. It's on at Shoreline twice a week now, for the rest of this week, certainly, and probably well into the future. Right. I certainly recommend a, a viewing of it. Last on. Christmas. So is it only coincidental? I mean, has it just got a, that vague reference of raising money for the Christmas do? Uh, is that the Christmassy element of it? Uh, no. Oh. No. Refer to the final 15 minutes, perhaps. I will tell you privately later. <laughs> OK. <laughs> this is unfair. I've got to look after my listeners. Peter, that was interesting. That's an interesting concept, isn't it? Mm. Uh, getting back to Emma, is it well written? Oh, the script is good. I mean, wow. uh, I mean, I mean I, she's one of my all-time favourite yeah. actresses. Yeah. I, re I really love the work that she's done, and I've seen a couple of her films fairly recently, and uh, she always, always performs... Yes. Uh, the script, she has a lovely sense of humour. Yes. That comes out in the film because it is it is funny. I mean, I, 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 perhaps I've drawn out too much on the wrong side of things, but the com side of it is also there mm. and very, very apparent. Wonderful. I'm an enormous fan of Emma Thompson myself. And of you, sir, thank you very much, Peter Edwards, for that review of Last Christmas playing now at the Shoreline Cinema in Waikanae. Thank you, Peter. 106.3 BGFM.